What's up everybody? It's me, King Alpha. I hope everybody's doing great. So today I wanted to talk about Sun Tzu. Um, I did just get him to six stars, so finally I can actually show you a lot of his talents that I have on him, his talent tree, and basically his whole, you know, skill, who to compare him, pair him with, and in a way what he's really good for in the battlefield. Um, obviously Sun Tzu is with the China civilization. He's a great infantry hero, also for garrison, and his skill damage is amazing. When you expertise him, and um, let's just basically go through his skills first before I talk about his expertise. Um, basically, the Art of War uh, deals, it's a fan type damage, so basically it shoots like these little catapults, and they hit each up to five targets. This is expertise, I believe before expertise it was up to three. So before expertise it was, um, let me see, yeah. Before it was expertise, it was three targets, but now it hits five targets when it's expertise. Um, but regardless, there's a crap ton of damage, and it's in a fan shape, so right in front of him, um, whoever he's targeting, whoever's in that little circle area is also going to be getting hit. Um, additionally, he has garrison. This garrison buff is pretty nice when it's defending a city. I've seen many cities use Sun Tzu and um, what, what's his name, Yi Song or YSG, they call him. Or you can even use him with Charles or anything like that. It's really, really good because of the fact that, you know, it gives a damage reduction. Plus, he already does a crap ton of damage as well. So, it's amazing. Uh, additionally, he has um, increased damage uh, reduction, increased troop damage reduction by 10%. And increases infantry unit health by 10%. Uh, which is really good. When you, when you get these to level 5, it's actually really great because of the fact that, you know you have infantry health bonus infantry health is so good because of the fact that you need your infantry to have as much health as possible just so that they can survive longer it's one as long as they're tanking and they can they can survive longer then you know they last longer in a fight and it's over you know uh last skill over here it increases his active skill damage by 20 percent when it's at level five this is amazing because of the fact that he has his expertise which is about his main skill which is the fan shaped a uh, little catapult thing and with this it's awesome because it just increases that skill damage up by 20% so especially if you have really good tech or even for example just you're really high power and you're using t5 troops or something like that Sun Tzu can actually be really good if you don't have legendaries that are maxed out for example or expertise for example um, additionally I wanted to talk about his talents his talents are really important to me and since he is one of my main commanders this is the reason why um, I really wanted to show it because of the fact that he's my second infantry combo compared to, uh, compared with uh, Charles and Richard. Whereas with Sun Tzu, I do have Sun Tzu, and I usually pair him up with Constantine or even Alexander. It all really depends on the situation. So, anyways, coming over here, as you can see, I have 50, I'm fifty out of sixty, so I still have ten talents that I'm gonna be getting that I'm gonna show you guys later down the line where I'm gonna be going um, for the skill tree over here. So, anyways. For infantry, you want to max out your infantry first. I know a lot of people go for straight skill damage. However, if you're using a full infantry march with um, Sun Tzu, it's way better to actually have this little setup than compared to just a full set of skill skills on the infantry. I mean, on the skill, and then you go towards infantry. It doesn't really do that much. You'll be doing more damage, but your infantry or whatever units you're going to be using isn't going to be as good. I would say the only way that, you know, going down full skill and then going up a little bit in infantry is if you do it where you have Sun Tzu and, for example, Julius Caesar or Sun Tzu and um, Scipio or Sun Tzu and Osman. Maybe that could work. I would think a really good combo might actually be Sun Tzu and Osman because of the whole skill damage might do a lot of damage and, and it's pretty good. I would think in my idea, it's pretty good. However, I wouldn't do that. I would mostly pair my Sun Tzu with another infantry hero because you want your infantry to tank as much as possible. So anyways, you go through the full um, infantry tree. The reason why you get these two bits right here, when this army led by this commander contains only infantry, gives a troop uh, a 10% chance to reduce damage taken by 20% for the next two seconds after being attacked. Obviously, um, I don't know if that's actually throughout the whole fight, but um, that's still really good. 10% is 
it's still a pretty good chance. And then you also get elite soldiers. So when the army led by this commander contains only infantry units, attack, defense, and health are increased by 2.5%. So as, as long as you're going over here and you're doing all these little bits over here, you're actually getting a huge percent um, percent in just your stats. Stats are so important in this game. And when you compare it to Sun Tzu and you combine, combine him with someone else that's infantry, for example, I think with my uh, Constantine, I get over like 100% is it 100 percent health or something like that when you have like ruins and you get a ruin right, and you have all your little buffs and stuff you can get over 100 percent um infantry health which is insane you know you don't usually think oh i could have 100 percent infantry health you actually really can and i don't even have t5 so imagine whenever i get t5 my infantry could be almost unstoppable <laughs> um however yeah you go fully through the infantry now coming down here this is um basically at level this is level 50 right now for me so as you can see i went down this way i got over here i got some infantry defense as well um but then additionally i got increases active skill damage by three percent obviously you need that because his skill damage is amazing then you come over here you get additional nine rage which is really good you come over here enhances additional skill damage by six percent so i'm already getting additional nine percent skill damage on this plus his uh, fourth skill which gives him 20% um, bonus and active skill damage and then you come down this way uh, after the primary commander uses a skill active skill damage of the secondary commander is increased by 2% I believe that goes up to 6% I'm not entirely sure but then you come over here and I'm going to actually be going over here and instantly restores 20, 20 rage whenever a skill is used so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this to level 3 and hopefully that restores 60 rage whenever the skill is used and that can be really good when it comes to always popping um, basically Sun Tzu's active skill. It's going to be great. But another way you can actually do this, um, I mean if you don't want to go down this way, you can also go down this way and actually come over here where it says after using an active skill increases, act um, increases skill damage by 2% for the next 6 seconds. However, I don't see this as such a good skill because of the fact that um, once Sun Tzu uses his skill, it's a single damage. It's not, you know, continuous damage. It's just one single damage. However, if it's someone else like uh, someone that poisons or someone that does damage along, for like a certain amount of time, this might be good. But it's really not that good on Sun Tzu. So once I get my 10 talents, I'm going to be bringing them down this way. And that's going to be my actual Sun Tzu talent tree. Um, now, last but not least, I wanted to tell you guys who to pair him with. Uh, Sun Tzu is really good with Charles Martel because of the fact that Charles Martel does have a health bonus as well with defense. So additionally, you're getting health bonus, defense bonus, you're getting troop uh, damage reduction and infantry health bonus over here again, plus all the talents and everything. And it can actually be really good. Now, when I come over here, you can also pair him with Richard. Um, however, I've seen Richard be first commander and then Sun Tzu is the second commander and actually tank really well because of the counter attack damage, the heal, and additionally you're already doing a fan shaped with Richard's first skill. It actually does uh, damage reduction by 30% and increases and debuffs basically the enemy to have a damage reduction of 30% and they just, you can do a lot of damage with an expertise Richard and an expertise Sun Tzu. Oof, hitting five targets at once with that is just insane. Additionally, you can also pair him up with Aluji. Um, I know for free-to-play players, you definitely want to probably do Sun Tzu first and then Aluji second as your secondary commander. Like you guys know, secondary talents do not count. Um, so Aluji's talents won't really matter on my uh, with my Sun Tzu and my Alu my Sun Tzu and my Aluji. But still, it's really good. Um, when it comes to Alexander, I don't think he's the best bit, because uh, just because of the fact that you know you have all these attack bonus, but the march speed bonus isn't really all of that. But you know, it's just, I mean, it's it's good damage. It's this is high damage, but in terms of health and everything and stat wise, you're actually not getting that much out of it. Um, but when you pair him up with, for example, Constantine, come over here, you have a forty percent. Um, health bonus over here and just to show you guys real quick um, let's actually compare it with each of these so I'm gonna put Sun Tzu first and we're gonna put Charles Martel second right actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Charles Martel uh, first because he's my level 60 but come over here 
let's see the stats. We have 97.5% over here for infantry attack, 99.5% for infantry defense, 76% for infantry health. That is amazing. And this is also in Lost Kingdom, so I do have the 15 little percent bonus, but still, that's really good. <laughs> Once I get all my stats up, it's still going to be really good. Now we're going to put Sun Tzu first, and we're going to have Richard as the secondary, and we're going to have 106% infantry attack, 98.5% infantry defense, and 62% uh, 62 infantry health. So you do lose health, but you get a bonus on the infantry attack and uh, almost the same defense which is pretty good come over here we're gonna put alexander i uh, sorry eluji let's see i don't have eluji expertise i'm about to get him expertise um a couple sculptures away but once i do i'm gonna be getting an extra five percent infantry attack and defense as well so that's gonna be really good um but you come over here and it is 101 percent uh, infantry attack 93.5 percent infantry defense and 61.5% infantry health. Now, if you think about it, I'm 26 million power, I believe, and you can actually get these stats as well if you want. And this is just for someone that's free to play. These two are free to play heroes. You do not need to pay for these heroes to get expertise at all. Expertise at all. It's all about epic sculptures, which aren't super hard to get. It's pretty easy to get, you know, do challenges or anything. Even the daily quests give you about almost five sculptures a day. If you're even a, a, like a level 23, a level 23 city hall, you get four sculptures a day. Level 25, you get five sculptures a, a day from epic sculptures. So imagine, you know, you get all these little epic sculptures and you put them towards these guys. You know, it's, it's honestly a really huge bonus for just free to play hero, free to play players to be using this kind of combo for your infantry. So, um, next we're going to go with Alexander. Let's see, uh, we have 91% infantry attack, 83.5% uh, inf infantry defense, and 61.5% infantry health. Um, like I said, this isn't the best combo. I mean, unless I had Alexander's skill over here, level 5, for example, and having 30% infantry attack, it might be really good. But if I had an expertise Alexander, maybe this is, uh, any expertise legendary is really good. But yeah <laughs> coming over here we are going on to our last infantry hero um honestly this is pretty insane 101.5 percent infantry health that is just absolutely crazy and honestly the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that this it only triggers once so um healing afterwards after after the skill kind of sucks but it's still pretty good i mean the infantry health is really good i do use this combo over here i do use this combo in my arc i have that army set up um so it's a really good combo it gives you a lot of health your troops can stay out for a while and if i had constantine um for example expertise i do get another 15 percent uh increase in attack and defense so and that's actually just for anybody that's just a new skill so yeah this is all for you guys um you know i love sun Tzu. he's one of my new favorite epic heroes i used to love aluji but then i realized okay sun Tzu is just way better and he's probably the best epic in the game and um i honestly just can't wait to talk more about him but yeah that's really it there's nothing more to it um like i said you can pair him up with someone like scipio which who i'm working on and you know you get pretty good stats as well and you know since scipio is a really amazing hero as well for just a, a main or secondary but i would maybe even suggest using sun Tzu and osman because that skill damage is honestly insane um like for example if i put him with richard or something i doubt the skill the skill damage doesn't actually change but it really does it really does change the percentages just are wrong um because for example with him he has additional his active skill uses uh deals additional damage and additional damage over here when you get um osman expertise so you can actually be doing a lot of damage if you actually use these two combos um all at once however the one thing that does suck about osman is that he only hits one target at one time so whoever he's fight you are whoever you're fighting at that moment you're actually only going to be doing a crap ton of damage on that one person with osman's skill <laughs> So anyways, guys, that was the uh, tutorial guide. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have a different talent tree, let me know. But he's also a great garrison hero. You know, don't 
think he's not he's amazing if you can actually put him in your city as a garrison hero but that's if your city gets attacked a lot or something which you know really doesn't happen much <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time though let me know in the comment section below what you think about sun Tzu, if he is your favorite if anything and um yeah i'll catch you guys next time Deuces.